Good morning, Kiwi Yonkers and all other folk to Sunsaw Gaming. Um, today we've got to play a pick for you. Uh, I have been asked by Loki Noob to do a video on the T92E1. Now, I absolutely suck in this tank. Um, but I, I do manage to have some fun in this tank. Uh, now, I've got two matches here for you today. This first one here on Canal. Um, you won't see me use missiles in either of these two games. Uh, I think I fire one, one missile. <laughs> so don't get your hopes up for a whole lot of awesome missile shots. I do play on touchscreen on a tiny little phone and firing missiles is, well, it's not the easiest thing on a tiny little touchscreen, um, which is why I don't use them. Um, now we've got a Rev pulling in here, take a snapshot and I miss him unfortunately but one of our TDs does get a nice shot into him on his way past. Now the Lorraine and the T44 they're over there, there's, there's no point in me pushing him with them and sitting in the same spot. So I'm just going to sit back here, I'm going to load an APCR round and I'm just going to, I'm going to wait, I'm going to hope that either the Rev backs up or something else pushes forward. Because I mean, it's bound to happen, my team are not moving so their team will um and there we go we get a nice nice little shot into the uh emil one there always great to get damage on those guys when you can our t44 he has been bled he has been bled hard now i'm still on a reload and oh there we go we do try for a missile there unfortunately i clipped the uh dirt mound so what do you know i i've I actually fire more missiles than I think I do, um, but I mean the T44 he is still calling for help, he does have support there with him but they are not really doing too much. Now we, we do have another tank that has just joined us here, um, one of our tank destroyers is pushed up front, I'm going to try and look for some shots while I can, but I'm not a very patient person, this tank does not play it patiently and it's getting boring. So I'm going to go in here, dodge a nice shot from the Emil, and I'm just going to rush around him. Um, well I was going to go and try and take out that uh, that tank right there that we just flew past. But you know, he was already dead so, oh, and I get so lucky there, two shots just narrowly missing the uh, turret of my tank. Now there's a standard B and Hopefully I can get a nice HE round into him, he clips the dirt, again very lucky for me, RNG seems to be on my side. Um, so the P44 Pantera or the standard B, either one I am happy to put an HE round into. Now I don't manage to pin that one, but I do put him on fire, I do get him turning around and it gives my team a little bit of a breathing space. Now I'm just going to pull in here, just get myself safe, get myself into cover, um, and then a assess what I'm going to do next so again we've got this Emil poking right around the back and that is a very dangerous spot from being now I don't know why I fired APCR there I probably should have loaded HE um, but you know these things happen now it's, it's two on five and I mean my team is doing very very well um, they've worked together as a team quite nicely they've held where they needed to and I leave the mill on one HP uh, so I've still got the Pantera over here I've got the mill over here um, I do have a tank on the back of the uh, Pantera giving him a hard time so I can push in on this mill um, and he is now cleared so it's just this Pantera left I'm on a massive reload and that puts me at a big disadvantage, especially when he can just use his whole clip and clear me out. So I'm going to use these hills to my advantage, and I'm just going to make sure that he can't shoot me easily. Um, now I'm reloaded, I'm going to pop over this hill, and let's see if I can get this kill. Uh, aim, aim, that's, that's what you got to do guys, aim. Um, it makes a big difference, especially in a tank like this. And the Emil 2 is here now to take some damage for me. So, there we go, we're just going to ram this guy, we're going to kill him, we're going to kill ourselves, and it's a good way to end the match, everybody had a little bit of a laugh about that. But I mean, that is 2000 damage, 2 kills, I mean, not the greatest, but like I say, I've, I don't play this game for damage, I play this game for fun, and to try and help the team win, and that's exactly what we've done, we helped the team win there. 
um, just by staying alive, using the terrain how it should be used, and using the correct ammo type helps as well. Now, I didn't do that the whole match, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, we are now onto the second battle here. Um, now, you won't see me fire any missiles whatsoever in this match. Um, now, I am going to go out to this section of the dunes out this side, and you'll see just how effective this tank can be without firing missiles. It's it's not going to be the end of the game uh, for you people that do like missiles, because basically, and once again, aim, aim. That's something I, I fail to do quite often is aim. But, I mean, you can see there, this guy, he's made a big mistake. He's about to die. Oop. And I decide I'm going to take the uh, more damage on that shot and let somebody else clear the one shot. So we've got this FV301. Let's load an HE round and go after him. <laughs> oh, that's a big tank, T34, sitting around the corner. Now I get a nice shot into 301 there and I use him for cover as I'm backing away from the 34. Um, the 34 was also on a nice reload. Thank you to my P44 Pantera for letting me back up around the corner there. Great teamwork, great job. Uh, a lot of people would actually just sit where they were and make it very difficult, which which will get your team killed. Um, now this T49, he is calling for help. Uh, there is a one-shot T Type 61 over here, and I'm once once I'm reloaded, which is why I'm backing up because I've got all the time in the world to reload. I'm going to try and get it. Oh. And again, I fluffed my shot. Like I said, guys, I am absolutely trashing this tank. But it doesn't stop us from having fun, and it doesn't stop us from getting off some amazing shots like this one. Right across the map, 583 APCR into the side of the Emil 2. Now, keep an eye on that Emil 2. He, he does really, really well uh, in this match. It is currently a 5 versus 3, and my team lose this. My team do lose this. That Emil, he's he's a one shot. He's on 255 HP, and uh, we got this T34 pushing in. He is full health until now because that blind shot wrecked him. Uh, definitely put it straight through the side of his tank. And I mean, you don't get much luckier on a blind shot that, than that. I mean, that was across the map with a very inaccurate tank. Um, so I mean, my team is not doing so well now. I've got myself who's one two shots we've got that td there who is a one shot um now this mill he is 253 hp now down to 19 hp but he's still alive that's still a dangerous gun on the field and again choose the shell type choose the correct shell type i mean i fired an he into the uh, side of that 34 there hoping for the best but it did not work out for me probably would have been safer just to fire an apcr round now he's dead, um, the waffle here does have a shell, I'll clear him, he clears my teammate, and there's the Emil, comes around, finishes me off, and finishes off my teammate. This guy, with his low hit points, 19 HP, just snagged the victory for his team. And I mean, kudos to him, he played really well keeping himself alive. So 3500 damage there, I mean... A great game, well played by the Emil, and I had fun. Now, please guys, don't request any more missile tanks, I do not like them. Uh, please do like and subscribe to my video though, and until next time, stay safe, use cover. Thanks guys.